All right. So, Shannon, Shannon, uh, tell me about your family. Uh, your parents were related, do you think? Yes, cousins. Your parents were cousins? Yeah. But that goes on here in West Virginia, doesn't it? Unfortunately. And you told me your grandparents were also my, related? Either my great-grandparents or my, I think she said my great-grandparents, but I know she said one set of my grandparents were cousins and also I was like, ugh. And you grew up where? Clarksburg, West Virginia. Not too far from here. Clarksburg, the, the center of the state, right? And tell me about your childhood. How, how was it? Abusive and dysfunctional. In what ways? Sexual abuse, physical, emotional, and mental. From, from who? All family members. Like my dad, my brother, my cousin, my mother, my brother, my uncle. At what age did this start? It started at five. And went on for how long? As long as I lived with my dad, the breaking point was I went to um, in my room and ended up getting my back broke with a two by four from my father. That's how I met my first husband. He was a sergeant cop. So you were married? Yes. He's deceased though. And how was that marriage? Abusive, but at that age, I was 19, and I just wanted security. When, when you say abusive, what, what, what kind of stuff happened? He, the, my first husband, cut this finger off with a turkey cutter, like knife, and then broke this to the point I had to have surgery, and it, a pin put it in it, and then it got, um, infected with gang gangrene and he then they had to take it so you lost two fingers yes from abuse and you told me one of them was because he slammed your finger in the car door on purpose yeah it is bad because he's there and like when he caught the house is on fire two months apart then like he acted like the big hero for coming to the hospital and uh, like acting like he was shocked when he knew he'd done it all along. Wow. And, and you were married a second time? Yes. He is abusive, but he kicked me in my back where I had, had surgery just right before. And I should have left then, but I always felt like I had to have a man to make me important. Do you feel like the childhood you had kind of led you on this path of abusive relationships and very much so being attracted to men that very much so are capable of that? Mm -hmm. It was so, the abuse was so bad that my mama said the other day that her and Granny was talking, and I could go turn to a woman, or I could marry a black man because black men sit there and take care of their women. Do you have children? I have two grown. Um, when he, when Don caught the house on fire, they were taken. And then my dad, because of being so rich, sat there and paid the um, judges and the HHR off to get custody. So they're in Florida now. And I haven't got to see or hear from them since 2005. Wow. They said that was part of the reason I had my massive heart attack in 2015. You had a heart attack? Mm-hmm. So your first husband burned down the house? Yeah, the, the first one, Don, he burnt the first house. He started in our daughter's bedroom in the closet, and then like three days short of it being two months apart, then it ended up having another one. But the, his, the officers below him came to me, each privately, three of them, saying if I'd leave, and I couldn't, because I still believe him for his salvation, which did happen. Is religion a big part of your life? Yes, sir. And which religion do you follow? Just Christianity, 
believe in, in the Trinity. I tried doing right. I tried being good to people, doing the right thing. But I'm not perfect, far from it. Do you have any relationship today with your parents and your family? My mama and my grandmother has fiction passed away. And, but I call her mom too, because she raised me when all, pretty much when the sexual abuse, like whenever she could get me, she had me, but she's fixing the past, so. But yeah, she wants me and mama to be real close when she passes. We've come a long way though. So you have some kind of relationship with her? Yeah. I told her I forgave her. Only problem is I have a real difficult time forgiving myself because my dad demanded perfection. How old are you now? I'll be 44, November the 30th of this year. What's the hardest part of your life today? Self-acceptance. Um, not beating myself up over, like, it, I think from my childhood, I expect to be perfect because that's what dad demanded. And I was always scared I'd get beat or sexually abused. So I always tried to be good enough and I wanted to go back to college and make people proud. And it's like I'm not good enough for myself. Mama says, you need to love yourself. But when I look at myself, I can't say that I do. I love parts of me. But if I dare make a mistake, I don't let myself live it down. And you see the relationship between your childhood and, and where you are today, right? Yeah. I'm in counseling, or at least I was, before I moved up here. But so many people was begging me to come back. And you can run from your problems and uh, but until you get the quote unquote balls to face them, they're always going to haunt you. And like I used to be an addict thinking that that would be, if I'd known myself that it wouldn't exist. And, but yeah, I, I've tried numbing, I've tried killing myself. Like the earliest attempt. Well, there's only been two actual attempts, and one was when I was seven, right after my um, cousin sat there and had sexually abused me. And my mom just walked in as I was fixing to push in a knife. I still have a little indention to my, in my chest from it. And you were using drugs at one point? Oh, yeah. Bad, bad, yeah. It helps you forget? Yeah. It was uh, like pretty much like a numbing agent. and. It was so bad that I was dating a um, dealer and was one, I'd ask him why there were so many people in and out. He never would tell me, but um, oh yeah, major crack addict. And then I told God, if you don't give me off this shit, I'm gonna die. And instantly in that moment, he answered. Have you used since? Um, not of crack, I've used meth like three times and heroin three times. I shot up once, um, well no, twice. They did something called K4, I don't know what it was. But today you don't use? No. Do you drink? Occasionally. I try, I try not to make a habit of it though. It's not a problem. Right? It doesn't control me anymore. Thank God. Where do you hope your life goes from here? You seem to have a good handle on on your issues? I'd like to help other women and men because a lot of people have the misconception that men don't get abused. And yet I had a best friend that did. So I, I hope to be like an abuse counselor one day. I think by helping others, you can help yourself too. Right. You're only as sick as your secrets. And that is a big family secret. 
All right, Shannon. Well, thank you so much for telling your story. Thank you. And good luck with everything. You too. Thank you.